I do a whole bit about trying to be on the swim team as a kid, and I was so consumed with fun dip and nachos <laughs> going back and forth, sweet and salty, oh, that it yes, was perfect. also part of it. Oh, my so. God. That is totally what I, swim meets I were all about. I joined the swim team because the swimmers ate fun dip. Because yes. it helped them, they thought it helped them swim faster. The sugar. Oh right. Because I was, I did not want to be on the swim team, and I saw that, and I was like, oh, I'd like to be on the swim team. <laughs> <laughs> In studio now, she's got a new special on Netflix coming out tomorrow. It's so exciting. Her first hour special. It's Fortune Femester. Everyone, welcome to the show, show Fortune. Nikki. Congratulations oh on your special. Thank you, my friend. Oh, my God. I see you um, in Los Angeles every single uh, time I'm there because you do a um, a, a morning show mm-hmm. also. Yeah. You have What a Joke with P- uh, with Papa and Fortune on Netflix Radio Channel 93, weekdays 10 to 12 p.m., so the same time as my show. So I, I well, it's, a little, it's a little hard for me to promote right listen, now. Listen, you don't have to say a one more word about <laughs> no. it. Don't even don't even mention it again. No, you should check it out on demand. That's on demand. what I think you should listen, listen to, to it. Listen to Nikki's show and then go to demand. I gotta say, when I went on that show, um, your show, I had the best time. Oh, it and was I've so gotten great. so many people saying that they had watched it on YouTube, and I didn't know that I was um, being got, filmed. Being filmed, so I had no makeup on. It's the only interview that you can see of me where I'm like truly. You're raw, raw baby. That's the excuse I use when I uh, I never wear makeup. And so you go. They didn't tell me. I, go, I didn't oh, know. Oh my God, I had no idea. Yeah. Otherwise, I would have worn my my gown. <laughs> <laughs> Fortune Beamster, your your uh, special is called Sweet and Salty. It premieres tomorrow. Are you so excited on the eave of your Netflix special? I am very excited. Out? I'm just trying to get people to watch because I'm so proud of it. You know, like, it's going to be everywhere. I hope so. Did you go into Netflix and have that meeting with them where they showed you all the different things that they do? It's pretty crazy. Netflix is nuts, dude. The scope of it is like beyond my comprehension. They're like, we're in, I don't know, 190 countries. I didn't even know there were that many. I don't even know. It could be 119. (laughs) Yeah. If I am making up countries, (laughs) I I don't know. I really don't know how many countries exist in the world. I don't either. Until you brought it up, I never thought about it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get a number on that, Noah. (laughs) How many countries are in the world? If they're not watching my special in Guinea-Bissau, I'll be so upset. (laughs) (laughs) What else does Netflix do that's crazy? Um, uh, Carmen Lynch is also here with us. She's going to be on uh, Jimmy Fallon on Friday. Anya Marina is here. She's going to be watching all of this stuff this week with me. <laughs> that's <laughs> right. I'm also going on your tour with you. Oh my God. Friday. Yeah, that's what, oh, that, I forgot about that. Yes. I'm so jealous. Y'all are probably going to have a blast. Oh, dude. So when you fun. do your theater tour, bring friends. I know. Uh, I, I got to find You get I got to find a friend. You've been on the road with <laughs> You have so many friends. You're one of the friendliest people in this goddamn business. You're so easy to just be around and run into and you're just someone that always is just one of those comedy friends that you're like "Uh, isn't it weird we're gonna like know each other forever yeah uh, i know we're like in that we're in this thing you know it's i'm really i hate to bring it down but one of us we're gonna be at each other's funerals that's true. Or at Probably. the same nursing home. I don't know home. about you. Oh, the, yeah. The comedy nursing fun. home. Yeah. Have a little open mic night. <laughs> oh, my what God. After that bingo. Be so fun. <laughs> well, are y'all going to be in New York? Because I'd rather be in like Palm Springs. Oh, I'll be. To, I'll go to Palm Springs. Okay. I'm, not, I'm not dying in I New York. I need to be at your nursing home. It seems like a lot it. of work to die in New York. <laughs> oh, my God. I'd want to be where there's like a pool. Just roll me out to the pool. Yeah. And let me just lay there. I can't wait to just. Die. I just pictured that. Like <laughs> they were rolling you out. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> yeah, um, I got to be around all the old gays. So yeah. take me to Palm Springs. I'll um, be in Puerto Vallarta. There that's you where go. I'm gonna, oh, that's where I'd you love to retire? spend my last few months in Puerto Vallarta. Yeah, it's a city of gays. It's just yeah. all gay men, unfortunately. Oh, so okay. the wrong gender. The lesbians. Well, by then there. they'll have these like shoots, and they could just shoot <laughs> us to you know what I mean yeah. through a tube. Oh, oh like yeah, like those fish tubes. Those fish tubes. Yeah. So, yeah, that were like big online. A I'll be shot ago. up to Palm Springs. That's a nice place. It gets so cold at night, but it's so gorgeous in the day and you melt in the summer and nowhere is going to be great by the time it's uh time for us to go no nowhere (laughs) it's gonna be snowing in palm springs when i'm uh (laughs) ready to go i think uh i want to go up in the mountains i think i think park city utah i was up there and i um i saw i I saw my future uh, retirement (laughs) i was like this is where i want to escape to i think it'll be good okay Uh, the the coast it will yeah. right. all the water will come and then that will be like an island. I there think. you go. Yeah. Up the the glass is half full. I'm worried about all that stuff, but you know, 
We'll be fine. We're we have money. Do you know there's a bunker? <laughs> I hate that. Hey, let's, say let's hope people buy tickets to our show. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta reinforce my bunker walls. Um, yeah, it's uh yeah, we're going on tour this Friday. Very excited, very nervous. Yo, it'll be awesome. It's, it's gonna be so fun. Nikki's show is so funny. Yeah. Thanks. I saw her performing we were- new jokes at the Laugh Factory and I'm like, oh my God, how do you just get up there and just she just like everything was new and I'm like practicing like three new minutes that's and a ton if you, i feel like such you don't a see me enough you don't know that that isn't maybe that new you oh, know like well, i wouldn't don't but we, i i love running into you because i always feel so alone in the world of like morning and then mm. also working at night and like i saw fortune in at 7 a.m in the morning <laughs> at serious and then we saw like each other at 9 p.m 9 p.m that night and i was like yeah i'm bookending my day yeah. with you like there's Aww. someone else that's on Ugh. this fucking crazy schedule it was lovely how do you do it how doing morning radio and also at night like how do you balance your life now i'm peeling myself out of bed every morning yeah just going what did I do? <laughs> <laughs> no, I love doing the show, but it is as a comic, it's brutal doing the mornings. Uh, yeah, because we're waking up at five thirty every day. <gasps> mm-hmm. wow. And uh, when and I'm in LA, yeah, that's when I'm- I totally get why you moved to New York to do this. At yeah, 10. I told you that last week. Yeah. Like I got offered the show in LA seven to nine, and I was like, yeah, I could do it. Or if well, I moved to New York, it's ten to twelve. Yeah, and then you can still do show. You know, shows at night. I mean, I'm do. I'm trying to get to the clubs when I can but it definitely takes a little bit of a backseat where I'm like uh I'm tired let me just do one a week which isn't great I gotta get out there but yeah it's hard but the but the the goal is like to just you know keep putting out content keep I mean in this business you can't just have one job they're like I know you have six jobs right now but what else are you doing I know I can't so, keep up with it but I mean no complaints I'm just happy you know oh, I could complain <laughs> <wants to hire me. laughs> yeah no it is nice I was talking to um Kyle Dunnigan the other day who has a really uh huge oh. Instagram presence and like as millions of followers because yeah. his videos are so funny and he said an interesting thing thing to me because he was like I don't know what to do next and I'm like to me it looks like you're just like killing it and he is killing it by all uh, accounts and he's works the road and he's one of the funniest people ever and and has so many followers and he's like but instagram is a tv show that never your season's never over there's never a break yeah and he told me if he takes two weeks off Mm -hmm. from posting on instagram that his views will go down significantly upon the next but like you feel algorithm you have to Mm -hmm. you can't ever take a break in this business it's just too much now to stay afloat you got to constantly be treading water you can never Mm -hmm. just grab a floaty and relax and have a fucking iced tea (laughs) are we all gonna die (laughs) (laughs) do you get exhausted do you guys ever like feel like you're on the brink of like collapsing from exhaustion Oh, 100%. I think I'm just on the brink of collapsing from the pressure I put on myself mm. to be good on social media. Yep. I mean, just the fact, I'm like, I just want to break 10,000 and it's so hard. And I'm like, how do people even get so high? And then when they get to a certain level, yeah, that's that pressure, like you said, to keep on creating, keep on yes. yeah, posting. And back in the day, you used to have seasons of a show and you would yeah. go to vacation when you weren't mm-hmm. taping a show. Now, if you go... First of all, no TV shows fucking last anymore, and they could go at any time. So you have no like, it's just you. You always have to do like six different things because yeah, it it could one of them could disappear, and then what are you? Who are you to thank God for stand up? We could do it yeah, at any that's time. The, that's the beauty Fuck. of stand up is like we have so much more control. It's like you know you want to put out an hour, go to the club and get your hour. Yeah, you know, and then. It might not get bought at a certain place, but there is a platform for it. You know, there, yeah. there is an end game to it. You get feedback every night. You yeah. feel like the love that your parents didn't give you or whatever <laughs> you're seeking every day. That is true. On stage. Fill our voids. Yes. But even if you take a break, it's looked at negatively. You know, it's like, where's so-and-so been? Oh, she's with her family. Like, leave her alone. You know yep. what I mean? Yep. So yeah. So it looks bad. You're just like, why aren't you doing anything? Let's introduce seasons on Instagram. Seasons. Yeah. Yeah. Season five. <laughs> That's good. That is I'm, I'm yeah. taking a break, and season six will premiere. It's so funny when people do have to announce that they take a break on Instagram. Uh, yeah. You're like, you can just take it. I know. Yeah. That's the, the, Nobody cares. the I'm taking a break from social media is hilarious. It's so funny. It's my favorite because <laughs> you always see those 
people back on in like two weeks. No, or even two days. They can't handle it. I yeah. follow this and they one go, girl. I learned so much in my journey of self-exploration. Yeah. They're, oh, I hate these people. They're just the, the ones that like have, they're like influencers, but they're hippies. The ones that are constantly like, Saging, or what's the other word for say? I'm smudging my apartment, and then they do a whole post about how important it is to take breaks and really nourish yourself and practice good self care. So I'm stepping away from social media, and literally 24 hours later, they're back. Yeah, without any explanation. Yeah, well, it didn't. I'm thinking of one specific girl. <laughs> yes, uh, you know who you are. Uh, and it's... I've spent way too much time on her feed. Let's be honest. I yeah, like go I mean, down a wormhole. You're wasting your time. Yeah, consuming her. So who's really at fault here? That's yeah. true. This is an intervention. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna show you her feed too. It's. I mean, we all know that things on Instagram are fake and that we shouldn't compare our lives to it because there's filters and people are. You know, when a girl's like doing yoga in her living room and like and her living room looks perfect and her hair <laughs> looks perfect and her outfit is perfect. And it's like I always just try to think about how much she's like yelling at her boyfriend who took the picture and is and, like, not this angle. Like, <laughs> like there, there's you, every picture that's taken, unless it's a selfie, there's someone that she had to be like, will you take this for me? Yeah. Like, that's why I don't like men on dating apps who have a lot of pictures of them just like, by a car, like doing yeah, a pose. Yeah, someone had to take because that. Because they had to ask someone to take it. I, I would prefer a selfie. It shows that you're less of a, selfies are supposed to be like the quintessential, egotistical, self-centered thing to do. But really it's so much worse to ask to stop someone's day yeah. and make them take photos of you. Oh, my favorite are, there's comics who uh, have pictures of them contemplating I'm being like, just thinking about my next job. <laughs> Hashtag bless. I'm like, what are you doing? Come it's on. So you should have enough self-awareness that this is so dumb. It's so late. Like, I posted a picture yesterday where it's like a cute picture of me. I just liked it. I literally made John Laster, who was like hosting at the Comedy Cellar. I stood on the stairs. He was standing there. I go, oh, yeah. John, will you take my picture? And I stood on the stairs yeah. and I posed. And I was just doing like frisky, fun poses of frisky like. Frisky fun. Like who I would want to be. Like, I really was trying to be like so flirty and fun and frisk. That's and, what um, I gathered frisk. when I saw the picture. Yeah, it was I'm a like, fun... she's looking frisky and fun. That's all I wanted you to think, Fortune. Yeah. I'm so glad it, that you... It worked. John, um, great job. Great job, John. He really did a good job because I kept looking at being like not quite neat and I was like, don't worry about it. And he goes, no, let's get this. Yeah. I was like, thank you. I, I don't want to inconvenience someone. I really was like, I didn't want to bother him. He nailed it. And then I was posting it and I was like, what should the... You know when you have a picture where you just look good or yeah. you just want to brag mm -hmm. it's just it, there's no joke to be had there right. and you're like what kind of joke can i make to how can i shit on myself yes. to make people laugh <laughs> or exactly. these bring jeans are tight yes, yes there's, a, there's a great sketch on um uh, i think you should leave tim robinson's uh, um netflix show yeah about it's i think it's in the first episode vanessa bayer is in it and i think you can watch it on youtube yes. but it's her and her friends at huh. lunch posting a picture and like one of them posts the picture of them at brunch and she's like look what i posted you guys at at brunch with these two dumb dumbs <laughs> and on, they all like laugh and then Vanessa is like, I'm going to post one. And she's like, I'm at brunch with these two sacks of shit. Just slurping down our fucking drinks, thinking we're better than everyone. Like, she just, oh and they're like, God. she's like, we're just a bunch of hogs just eating slop. And she's like, and they're like, so funny. yikes. It's so funny. It's such a funny, I, like, I'm not doing it no justice, but it is I like poetically that. hilarious. Oh. But I was posting this and, and I go, my, my, try, I try, like my, if I was to have a brand on Instagram, I don't want it to ever be like, I'm, if if I think I look hot in a picture, I just want to say, I think I look hot in this yeah. picture. I just want to, because I don't want you, girls to look at pictures of me and think that I didn't pick the best mm, one out right. of a series of 100, that I didn't uh, adjust it to make myself look as yeah. hot as possible, that I wasn't, I didn't have a spray tan, perfect makeup, I spent an hour on my outfit. Like, I want right. them to know that all of these things go into any good picture of me. Because I have said it on the show before, but sometimes I go through my own feed and I'm like, God, she's so cool. Like, I'll go, and I'm not even joking. <laughs> 
I'll go, I'll go, she had it all. I'll be like, wow, Nikki, you like, you've really lost it. Like you were so, you were killing it for so long. And then I go, you've never been killing it. These, you, this is curated in a way that even you are tricking yourself into right. thinking that you used to have it all. When really you've been the same person this whole time, which is a person who is picking the best version of themselves. Even me, so honest, so out there with my flaws. Even I am lying to you. I'm oh. lying to all of you. <laughs> this is also an intervention for you. It's true. We're all here. But you know, yeah. When I posted on this picture, I posted exactly what I was doing in this photo. What does it act, say? Act as if. This was the vibe I was trying to mm. in, inhibit that night, uh -huh. even though I did not feel this confident. Act as if. Like, this picture is not who I truly feel I am, mm -hmm. but it's who I was like, if I want to, like, change my demeanor in, in a certain situation where I'm feeling vulnerable and I'm feeling, like, anxiety, act as if it's fine. Yeah. Just act as if. Like, right. that's what we're all doing on Instagram, and we 100%. should be doing it, because you can act as if, and it can inspire you to then be as if. Yeah. As if. As <laughs> if. <laughs> but it's just, it's all a lot. It's like- You it's, just took a big gulp, like, oh, my thoughts are- Really, Catching up, <laughs> really making that was tired. the best intervention ever. <laughs> For, yeah, we <laughs> all need so interventions. Much. I mean, uh, uh, Fortune, do you get triggered by um, Instagram? Um, because you're someone who doesn't wear makeup. You're not really mm -hmm. like focused on. Uh, you're someone who doesn't feel the need to like dress a certain way. I know you're not plagued as much by those things, right. but are there things about Instagram that will make you feel sad? Not so much like a girl's cute outfit, but other things. Right. Well, I mean, there's certainly plenty of people who are like, you're on TV, you should elevate it a bit, you know? So I then get in my head like, oh, I need to care more. But the then I just kind of get caught up with life and forget about it where I'm like, oh yeah, these this t-shirt's old or whatever. I don't know. I'm just trying to like, I just want to work. You know what I mean? I just want to like provide for myself and my family. Yeah. yeah. And that at the end of the day is kind of like where my drive is. It's mm -hmm. not like, oh, what does my face look like? Or mm -hmm. I want to be healthier. You know, obviously that's something that I struggle with and, and I try to, there are good days and bad days. Sometimes where I'm like, oh, I've just lost 40 pounds. And other days where I'm like, I had cake for dinner. Mm -hmm. um, so <laughs> <laughs> it's more of just like, how can I try to be a healthier version of myself and also do a good job and try to get people to want to see me do what it is that I do? You, you, know? you, you hit on something really good there that I love, which is like, you you sometimes beat yourself up because you're like I should want to do these things like it's like the like why am I not doing these things that I don't care to do right like sometimes I'll see a girl that's like doing a new Pilates regimen and I'm like I need to do that right. I should do that and it's like or like jujitsu like people go you need to learn jujitsu and it's just like Oh, that's very specific. Well, like that's a thing. <laughs> God, not even have you karate. Not, have you not <laughs> jujitsu? Oh, people wow. love jujitsu. <laughs> Noah, for example, is so into. And I know that if I did jujitsu, I'd fucking love it, and it would change my life. Yeah, I don't have time for it, but I, there's this constant like gnawing in the back of my head of like you you're not doing jujitsu like all the time <laughs> i i can 100 percent say i've never had that thought yeah but but you Same. even said about like your shirt like you don't give a fuck about your uh, no, if a shirt is nice but, but like i don't give a fuck about jujitsu right it's like, but you feel this expectation to like you should care about that yeah. and i'm like why don't i care i wish but i did care it's also fun to just say i do jujitsu yeah yeah say it seven times in a row jujitsu 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 no, i do i do jujitsu i do jujitsu i do jujitsu <laughs> Yeah. It would come in handy in New York because there's a threats around every corner, right? That's the thing. That's it, you can defend yourself better as yeah. a woman if you know jujitsu. But just save time and get a gun. Oh. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, just or a I knife. Mean, or a, or a candlestick. Or, or stay home. <laughs> just don't leave your house. Yeah. I mean, it's hard. You know, I guess sometimes it's hard to. I don't think about the physical appearance. I guess as much because I've never been the hot chick or no one's like. <laughs> looked at me for my looks you know I, I've never been that that person that people go to for that but it is easy to look at what other people are doing and be like oh why why haven't I done that thing yeah or, you know it's 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 it I, it's always setting us all up to compare ourselves in some way because like you said you're always presenting your best self you know people are like oh I'm film you know filming this show and that show but they're not saying like I got 
you know, rejected for 10 years and finally I caught a break. Yes. You know, it, it, there's a lot of backstory to the to the people's triumph. I also think it'd be nice to just present your worst I was self. just going to say that. And then when you do get like a TV show or whatever, even, you know, someone does your makeup, then it's like it pops more, you know? Mm-hmm. I, I kind of am tempted right now to like start an Instagram account where it's like, you just share all the worst things that are happening to you that week because I feel like Instagram is just like, look who I'm hanging out mm-hmm. with this week. Yeah. Look what projects I'm working on. Look where I performed. It's just like, and everyone just thinks I'm fucking killing it. And I would like to just, just selfies in bed with all the food that I've binged. <laughs> like, yeah, like just when- only that though. Only the my my worst moments to like kind of balance it out. And I'm sure there are accounts like that that are like, this is raw and who I am. But like. Really? When Judy Gold, she's so funny. When she posted those hot flashes mm-hmm. and they're just close up and she's sweating on the subway <laughs> and she's like menopause. Amazing. So funny. I gotta follow her. For, so see funny. that gets yeah. a follow. Oh, see that there. is that's the type of shit I love. Um and it really does help when you when you stop following accounts that make uh, you feel worse about yourself. Yes. And I don't care if they're a fellow comedian who you're friends with. You know, I had to unfollow so many people and like three days later they invented the mute thing and I felt like such a dick. <laughs> I know, because if you go back and follow them, they're going to see it yeah. and be like, why? But I had to for my own sanity. I was so, I was in such a bad place. Yeah, someone recently was like, why don't you and We're Eliza Schlesinger place. follow each other? And I go, um, nothing to do with her. I actually like enjoy her and running into her. We're friendly. She works out too much and it makes me feel triggered. Mm-hmm. It makes me feel like I'm less than. It makes me feel like I need to be working out. It it sends me, it's all my issue, not her, but she posts about her body too much and it makes me feel like I am less than. And so I stopped following her. Mm-hmm. It's not because I don't like her, and it, but people wanted to like read something into it, and I just blatantly said it's because she works out too much. That's and I'll why, tell that to her face, and that's why you follow me, and that's why I follow you because I, I double follow you. <laughs> don't work out. <laughs> I um I loved watching your stand up the other night when I saw you at the Laugh Factory, and I'm so excited about your special, which oh, comes out yeah. tonight at midnight. Woo! You got to check it out, and it's interesting. It's it's called Sweet and Salty Fortune Veemster, Sweet and Salty. You, Guys, she is. So, you've seen her on Chelsea late. Like you probably first came across Fortune and Chelsea lately. Um, she's been on the Mindy Project. You've been in movies. You were in Office Christmas Party mm-hmm. with Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> yeah, I was her Uber driver. What? Dude, <laughs> it was the most fun. Were I got you- to just be in a car with her and insult her. <laughs> her name. Her character's name was Carol. So I just kept saying it was an old person's name. And she had to just sit there and take it. She was so awesome, though. Did you first get to know her on Chelsea lately? I sat beside her at Thanksgiving, weirdly enough. <laughs> That's right. They're friends. Oh, my I, God. I, like, am getting emotional. I know. It was, it was so crazy. Because she honestly is probably one of the best people in That's showbiz. That's what everyone says. Uh, yeah, it was early on in, in uh, my Chelsea days. And uh, everyone was too... She, she had just started dating Justin... And uh, she ca- they came to Chelsea's house for Thanksgiving, and she kind of invited the people that didn't have anywhere to go. And everyone was too nervous to sit down beside her. Was this her. the Ed Sheeran Thanksgiving? The no, famous he, one? No, he, where wa- he got wasted? No, he wasn't oh, okay. there. Um, and uh, she, she and Justin were sitting beside each other, and Whitney Cummings was on the other side. And I was the last person with my food, and Chelsea sees me standing there, and she goes, oh, God, because she knew I was about to sit beside Jennifer because there was nowhere else. So I sat down beside her and, like, was so nervous, and she was like, I made this Greek salad, and I'm like, I love salad. (laughs) Salad is... I love salad uh, so much. Greek salad's my favorite. <laughs> I was you so... ate a salad prepared by Jennifer yeah. Aniston. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, and she was just so nice and and like friendly and like cool. And I was like, this is the best person. And then, um, and then I didn't see her for a couple of years. And then I got off his Christmas party like mm-hmm. three years later, and I get on set, and she's like, Fortune. Oh my god, I haven't seen you since Thanksgiving. I like cr- oh, I like I wanted to cry. Like, she said my name. <laughs> Do you remember how much I loved her salad? <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. so and then, nice. And then I uh and then I had to come back for reshoots and um uh so there was like a cast dinner and no one was there yet except for her and Jason Bateman and his wife and just the three of them were just hanging out and I walk in like again like that person like, "Oh, 
Hi, I should I like be here. <laughs> but I would I sat I would sat down beside her again and we started talking and she has since revealed this. I would never have revealed it, but she had a secret Instagram account. And uh, she yeah. was like, oh, I was l- looking at your Instagram. Your mom's so funny and your oh uh, fiance is so pretty. I'm like, I'm like holding the table. Like, oh, Ugh. my God. <laughs> and then she joined Instagram, as yeah. we know, recently. And uh, she started following me. She did? And uh, I wrote like a post, like. Just, I was like, I'm gonna just test it to see if like She's how really, much she follows yeah, she, me. <laughs> so, <laughs> she might have muted you Am instantly. You might have triggered yeah. her. So I put like, you know, welcome her to Instagram. Like she, you know, she sure. like, broke the internet and she wrote like five hearts back. And I, Aww. oh, no, she know. commented five hearts back. Five hearts back. Oh yeah. my god! Congratulations. So much, thank you. <laughs> I mean, special, you. special. You guys. Yes. <laughs> Check it out oh if you God. want. But I mean, Fortune you know. is friends with Jennifer Aniston. I think that's what she's really here to promote. Your special is now called Five Hearts. <laughs> oh. But you know, it, there's so many people. Five in this, Hearts from Jen. <laughs> so many people in this business are like, yeah, so and so's great, and they're all full of shit. That person's not great. Yeah. But I can say with like 150 percent, which is not even a real number, uh, that she's amazing. Wow. No, yeah. that it. That's. Uh, I'll always be a fan of hers. That's great. I've only heard nice things. I've heard one t- time where she wasn't cool to someone, but that person is awful. <laughs> and I was like, yes. <laughs> and so it made me feel like she stands up for herself. Mm, and as, and it was in yeah. a it was a story from like really when she was early on. Right. And it was a bad person she was working with, and she was completely like rude to him on set in front of people. Uh-huh. And he talked about it like, oh, I can't believe she was so rude. But I know for a fact that he's a poisonous, terrible person. Yeah. And I, I just know I... that she sensed it. Yeah. I'll talk to you off air about it. I think I it. know who you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, you can find it online. There's a lot of, uh, the, he's talked about it on podcasts and stuff about uh-huh. how she was rude to him. But he's he's a bad person. Right. So I was just like, oh, she got, like, I, I love this story. Like, I like when a woman's, when, I like when a woman is mean sometimes because well, it's like we're not always all supposed to be nice. She doesn't have to be nice. Yeah, no one has to be nice to everybody. No one, no. If, if you're dealing with a not great person, your behavior is going to reflect that. That's why I liked when the Pope, uh, that woman grabbed him yes, recently and he, he slapped smacked her. her. I'm like, good. Yeah. The Pope shouldn't put up with just anything no. just because he's the goddamn Pope. Jennifer Aniston doesn't need to be nice to everyone. Mm-hmm. I hope there's a couple stories where it was like, she was really rude to me. And it's like, well, you probably approached her at a dinner in a really rude way when yeah. she was wanting privacy. Like, so many people, like, have these stories of celebrities where they're like, they're an asshole, mm-hmm. terrible running. And it's like, you never think about what was on the other side of that. How r- I've seen people be so rude to celebrities. Yeah. And I know. then forever they have this story of like they were an asshole and it's like, oh, were they? But I, I love that story. I, I knew she was nice. Same with Adam Sandler. You only hear nice things about mm-hmm. him. And they're friends, so that yeah. checks out. I bet Jason Bateman's fucking cool as shit, too. Yeah, he seemed super cool. Yeah. I didn't get to know him as well, but he was he God, was I had such a crush nice. on him in this like when, on Silver Spoons. Do you remember? Oh, yes. Yes. oh, yeah. I forgot <laughs> he was on Silver Spoons. Um, speaking of celebrity, like... Uh, run-ins like um me Sorry. um i mean who would be your jennifer aniston carmen is there anyone that if they they followed you oh my god you would just lose your goddamn mind i mean it's for me it's i have always loved julia roberts mm. i love her That's a good interesting one. yes okay yeah, she's like, you know, the she's always been America's sweetheart. Yep. And she looks cool. Yeah. She just mar- married a dude, some yeah, camera guy, cinema- cinematographer, whatever. And she's I got a great Julia Clooney. Roberts story Ooh, for you. Oh, please. You? That might change your mind. Oh. Oh, no. Uh, no, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Are you no, no, going to no. ruin everyone's I don't want to ruin anyone's. No, I wouldn't. After the show, you got to tell me. No, there. Uh, I, she actually does seem lovely. And I've only, I've recently heard someone talking about her that like knows her personally and was like, yeah, she's the greatest. So. So maybe my story doesn't check out, but uh, <laughs> but it is interesting. Once you're in this business long enough, you start hearing about people that aren't that don't behave that cool. Yeah. That you're like, no, like that's with J- Jennifer Aniston. I tend to like try not to hear anything. I don't think you're gonna hear a lot of bad stories about her. I don't like think her, so though. either. I heard that I'm not gonna say it now, but I'll tell you after about someone who I thought was supposed to be really nice, and I've heard from multiple people mm. she is yes. not. Oh, I oh, think I'm really. Hear really? Talking about. I think I know who you're talking Wait about. Wait a second! Oh my God, what does it rhyme? What can you give us any clue? I don't want to say, say because it. I like her. Yeah, don't I, say I it. have this image of her, but then I was like, really? No. Oh, 
Oh, there's so many there people are a, like There that. are a lot of people like that, so it could be Oh, a... that's it. Yeah, I know the one. Yes, of course. <laughs> a- Anya just tech- wrote it, and I'm like, oh, can we just pass it around to verify <laughs> that it's see. the person? <laughs> I mean, there have to be so many that if you get it no, right. No, this one is a commonly known... Yes! <laughs> That's crazy! <laughs> you don't know who it is. You'll never You'll know, never except know. that you do. Like, you, oh my god! It'll get, it'll come out eventually. But um, over the weekend, I was just looking for something. Um, over the weekend, I got sent a DM from a fan of mine that said, "Quote this." Um, okay, let me go to the end of this. I'm so sorry. I just like screenshotted it and I can't find it. So a fan of mine, which I can't even believe a fan would do this for me or for any person, but they said. Okay, so I met Taylor Swift, and I asked her if she knew who you were, and she said, quote, unquote, which I don't think is how you say that, but this person wrote the quote, unquote, (laughs) quote, unquote, quote, quote, unquote, quote, isn't she the one that said I inspired her dancing inspiration? That isn't she the one that said I was her dancing inspiration or something like that? Which is true. Yeah. When I was doing Dancing with the Stars, I often said that that Taylor Swift inspired me because she's a bad dancer, and so I thought like, and when she dances, she actually looks good, and she doesn't really. It's not her natural inclination to dance, so I know that if she can make it look good, I can too. I ne- as soon as I said it, I was like, I hope that never gets to her because it would hurt my feelings if right. someone like said I was a bad dancer. And of course, that's the fucking quote that gets to her. <laughs> oh my god! So she goes, "Wasn't I the one that's that? Wasn't she the one that said I I it was her dancing inspiration or something like that?" And my fan goes, and I told her yes. Then she said, "Quote: Is she on Netflix too?" And then I yelled, "Yes!" <laughs> <laughs> I love your fan, fan right there. I love and her. then, <laughs> and then she said, "Is it the Nikki Glaser banging one?" So I confirmed that. And then she said, "She is awesome. I always love inspirational women. We need more of those in the world. Sometimes she is my inspiration, which I doubt, <gasps> but that's still, pretty, that's high praise." She also said she will shoot you a DM when she finds time. So, girl, I don't expect that anytime soon because she's very busy, but. It it's coming. You might be in the squad, dude. Yeah! You're gonna, yes! you're, you're, you're gonna be in the anything. next. Uh, vi- you know the the what was that one video with all her friends? They all oh yeah, had, like end game wep- weapons. Yeah, <laughs> or no, it was uh, br- bad, bad, blood. Blood. bad blood. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, just get shit. ready. You're gonna be in that you're squad, in squad, girl. Part two. I would love it. You're gonna be in uh one of those pyramids on the Fourth of July that she that you know the pictures she does. Oh my yeah. god, I gotta do it. Before before she has a kid. I mean, every time Get I hear speculation there. that she's pregnant, I'm like, fuck. I know. I'm missing my window. The window because, closes as soon oh, as someone a has kid. a kid. She's, I mean, the window's almost closed because she's found the man she's going to be with the rest of her life. So, so like, you like, kind of go, bye-bye, yeah. bye, friend. But, like, it's getting, it's, if she, when she has a kid, though, I'm, I'm out. Yeah. Next, I'll this, have to get pregnant. This 4th of July, I predict <laughs> you'll get invited to her party in Rhode Island at her big okay. house. That you guys are gonna take a picture. It's gonna be a pyramid on a cliff. Okay, you'll be in the pyramid, and all of us will be like, "Bye, bye, Nikki. Bye, bye." <laughs> and I'll be like, "Bye, guys. I won't even <laughs> wait. Yeah. I'll do the Jennifer Aniston, Brad Pitt <laughs> ch- chest <laughs> You'll be grabbing onto my. I'll be like, <laughs> and, I'll, and I'll be I'll be stewing on Instagram, going, "Why is there not one fat person in that pyramid? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god." No, you, you didn't even want one on the base? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, my God. You need a hearty oh. shoulder. I Come hope, on. All I think, though, is that I'm too much of a liability for someone that famous to be friends with. Like, the stuff of what I you say, say. <laughs> it just would get them in trouble. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Uh... <sighs> yeah, whatever. It's Seriously, like whatever. Like, are you worried about anything in your special fortune that people are going to get upset about? Are, is there anything that you're like, oh man, like, what are your feelings on the eve of your special? I right mean, now? The, the world that we live in now, honestly, I don't know. You don't know. I don't know. It could be because nothing is ever said, at least for my, for me, that's with malice or meant to be uh, negative or affect anyone in any way. But I could make a flippant joke that I think is so innocent. And and who knows? Yes. So I'm kind of just bracing. But I'm not a very controversial comic. I don't, like, I don't express, like, political opinions. My entire special is stories. It's storytelling with jokes. I and, can't wait for it. And I just, I, I talk about literally from birth 
through elementary school, high school, college, moving to LA to now. And so, you know. Whoa, you go. So that's go how you framed whole it? Whole timeline. Did you work to make it this like narrative piece that started that way? Like, how did this shape together for you? It didn't start that way. I just yeah. realized that I had these stories and I go, wait, that, well, that happened. Th- that led to this. And yeah. Th- and then, uh, once I sold the special, the narrative started taking place where I was like, oh, there's a theme here, and it comes full circle. Uh, but it took me a long time. I mean, I I toured this set, like, versions of it for two and a half years. Yes. But I didn't even find that theme till like, two months before. Yes. And then I just was, like, every night I remember club, seeing you right like, before. Mm-hmm. When did you tape this? September. Yeah, so it was fairly recently. Mm-hmm. And where did you where did you film? In Charlotte, North Carolina. Oh, great. I'm... F- like from like 30 minutes from Charlotte. Oh, that's awesome. So it was a big hometown crowd and they were so stoked, but they were so excited <laughs> that they were yelling throughout my entire set. And I yeah. finally had to be like, can you shut up? <laughs> yeah. That we're recording this. Yeah. There was this one woman in the balcony that in the first show, everything I said, she'd be like, yep, that <laughs> happened to me too. Oh, and yeah. you're like, no. No. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> yes. And like everything, she'd be like, uh huh, that's right. <laughs> it was your oh conjoined twin that you had just had removed a couple months For ago sure. she, she wasn't lying she, she had been be through the journey this, everything that did happen to you did happen yeah. to her too so it's a very per- like i've never had a set be so personal wow. and so like oh my this is my life you're That's such great. an incredible stand-up i'm really excited to see this like version of of your stand-up because you've done the half hour the stand-ups on mm-hmm. on netflix it performed well enough that they gave you an hour. They don't do that for everyone. You're obviously in demand. It's so exciting. The name of the special is called I Ripped Up Your Paper because I, I think it's Sweet called salty. I think it's called Jennifer Aniston is friends with me on Instagram. Five hearts. Five hearts. Five hearts. Jen, <laughs> Jen's five hearts. Uh, salty and sweet. Sweet and salty. Sweet. I was going to say. There's never salty first. You no, gotta ever. You got to go sweet first. Why no. sweet and salty? It's a food thing. Because that's what you are. Uh, it, part of it's that I'm very sweet. I mean, but, that is your act. And then I will like... T- then talk about hand jobs all of a sudden. You know? <laughs> oh my God. Are we gonna hear you talk about hand jobs on the special? One time, one one hand jobs. <laughs> but it's not my I because in my half hour I talk about my hand job mm-hmm. experience. This one's just talking about how um, you used to, like back in the day there was no YouTube, so you didn't know how to give a hand job. But now we have YouTube. Yep. We're like a 16 year old girl like named Jessica. It's like, hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to be the, give the best <laughs> goddamn hand job your whole goddamn life. Thank you so much for watching that clip that you just watched. Did you enjoy it? I hope you did. If you did, thumbs up it. Why don't you subscribe? Why don't you just keep watching more videos? Let them play. Share with your friends. Go share on your Instagram story. Go, just have a great day.